Einstein once said about quantum mechanics, God does not play dice. But I'm going to show you guys that he does. Quantum mechanics is the physics behind the really small. We're talking about atoms, molecules, and subatomic particles like electrons. Some people think that quantum mechanics exists purely because we don't fully understand the physics yet. But actually, it's a logical mathematical framework that accurately describes how nature behaves at tiny scales, even if it seems strange to us. And I want to explain it so that even a high schooler can understand it. Let's start with the Heisenberg uncertainty principle. It says that you can't know both the exact position and the exact momentum, that's the speed and the direction of a particle, at the same time. Now that might seem weird, why can't you just look at it? But let's think about what looking actually means. When you look at something, light from a source bounces off that object into your eyes. It's a physical interaction. Normally, the object is so big that light doesn't have a noticeable effect. But a subatomic particle like an electron is incredibly small. That means that when light hits it, the photon gives the electron a kick of energy, changing its motion. So if you measure where the electron is, you disturb how it's moving. And if you measure how it's moving, you lose track of exactly where it is. That's not a flaw in our tool. It's a fundamental property of nature. You literally cannot know both perfectly. Because of this, we describe particles like electrons using probabilities, as clouds or as waves of where they might be. For example, in a hydrogen atom, the electron isn't orbiting around like a planet. Instead, it exists as a probability cloud around the nucleus. You don't know where it is, but you can guesstimate where it might be. And when the electron moves, it behaves both like a wave and a particle. This is called wave-particle duality, and the double-slit experiment shows this beautifully. If you fire particles like electrons at a barrier with two slits, you might expect to see two lines on the screen behind it, as if the particles were going straight through just the slits. But light and even electrons behave like waves as well. So when they pass through the two slits, they spread out and they interfere with each other. When the two waves overlap, they can either add up or they can cancel out. This is called constructive and destructive interference. This produces a pattern of bright and dark bands, an interference pattern on the screen. Now here's the really strange part. If you send electrons one at a time, they still build up the interference pattern. It's almost as if the electron is interfering with itself, behaving like a wave until it's detected. However, if you set up a detector to watch which slit each electron goes through, the interference pattern disappears. They now behave like particles again. That doesn't mean that the electron knows it's being watched. It just means that measuring the system changes the behavior because measurements interact with the particles. Now there's so much more to quantum mechanics, things like superposition, entanglement, and quantum tunneling, but this is just the foundations of quantum mechanics. At tiny scales, the universe behaves with probabilities and waves. So God does play dice. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, drop us a like, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. God does play dice.